Hey, how are you doing? So last year I got eight degree apprenticeship offers. And if I had to sort of nail it down to one factor, what was the one thing that was able to get me all those offers? I would say it was my work experience. Okay, work experience is super important. It means in your application, in your interviews, you're going to be able to explain to the interviewer, to these companies, all the things you've learned, all the skills you've developed, right? The activities you've done. It means when they ask you why you're a good candidate for this role, you already have so much experience from that work experience placement, whether it's one week, one day, two weeks, it doesn't matter. You're going to have learned so much, whether it's in person, virtual, it doesn't matter. Work experience is the number one factor that got me my offers. So if you're interested in doing a degree apprenticeship yourself, then I'd really recommend that you seriously try and get some work experience. And if you're watching this and you're applying to degree apprenticeships next year, it's probably your summer holiday, you've just broken up something like that, then it's a really good idea to get some work experience done before the applications start opening up in sort of September, October, November, December, January sort of time. If you spend the next couple of months getting that work experience, then it's going to be ready for your CV and application. So what I've done is I've made a list of loads of work experience in loads of different industries like finance, engineering, technology. You can go and click the link in the description. Okay, so it's just all in a table right here, all the different work experience. Put some descriptions here just so you can understand what it is industries it's relevant to so literally just come to this notion document link in the description and it's all there for you okay so that's the end of the video if if like you just want to leave it there it's all in the description you just go and click that and just go apply right now what i'm going to do for the rest of the videos i'm just going to talk through some of these opportunities explain which are the best ones explain which ones you should do depending on your interests but you don't have to watch this next bit at all if you want to just go into the description click the notion document it's all there for you just come and scroll down here see what's good for you go and apply don't need to waste any of your time okay now if you want to continue i'm just going to go through and talk through some of these and just explain which one's the best one i'll include some timestamps for like the different sectors as well just to make it more helpful for people navigating these you can see maybe there's a specific industry you're interested in you want to skip to okay so let's start off with the finance work experience finance is very prop popular for degree apprenticeships so the first one here is a bdo accounting work experience this one has like different modules on different areas of finance in particular accounting audit tax and consulting okay so this is going to be really relevant to people who are applying to companies like pwc deloitte and kpmg because those companies have apprenticeships and sort of departments in things like accounting audit tax consulting so this can be very relevant if you want to work for those three companies there's also going to be some practical exercise and real life scenarios to get stuck into and that's going to be really good experience for your applications what you're going to understand is when i talk more about work experience and like you hear me talking about it the first thing you're going to learn is like knowledge okay you're going to learn knowledge great but the second thing is you're going to be doing actual projects or exercises and that's where you get to put in your applications i did this thing i wrote this report i delivered this presentation i made this design when you're doing activities in your work experience that is where like it's really good work experience so i'm always going to highlight the work experience which is not just learning it's doing because doing is where you have really high leverage work experience that's going to be really good for your applications you're going to be able to explain it into interviews all that sort of thing so that's that one then the next one is virtual work experience with the Chartered Institute of Public Finance and Accountancy. This is about being a chartered accountant. Uh, so this can be applicable to all finance applicants, but specifically those in the public sector. Um, so the private sector, that's like companies like PwC, KPMG, Deloitte. And the public sector is like working for the government, working for the civil service, maybe working for a council, that sort of thing. Um, so that's another one for you. And I've just added another one here. Um, this is an in-person work experience with kpmg paid as well um so kpmg is one of the big four basically one of the big four like finance firms they are doing work experience in basically october for 2024 it's going to be in-person work experience so i just wanted to put this link here they haven't opened applications yet um so i recommend signing up to their mailing list because then like when they open it in probably a couple of weeks couple of months then you'll be notified about that and these will be highly competitive though that's just a, i want to like note that i don't want you to rely on getting this work experience because it's like kpmg one of the biggest companies it's gonna be really popular everyone's gonna to want to apply to it i don't want you to just rely on that and like that's the only work experience you do because you could end up like applying for it and not getting it so i'd recommend if you're interested in finance do one of these first two and then apply to the kpmg one if you get the kpmg one great you've got two work experience that's perfect if you don't get the kpmg one it's fine you've got one of these first two as a backup okay so that's finance there's those three for you there now moving on to law there's some virtual work experience here you can go click on that link with tlt and there's gonna be different types litigation real estate commercial and 
you're going to be analyzing real life case studies and participating in a mock trial that's going to give you really good experience as well as like learning about the different types of law which you're going to be able to explain i have knowledge of these types of law and like there's these crimes and this is the process and all that sort of thing you're actually going to have experience of you have like analyzed real life case studies you've actually participated in a mock trial you know how a trial works like what the structure of it is and all that sort of thing you're going to be able to have those communication skills and that sort of thing that's going to be really good for your applications so that's one for you in law okay now let's move on to engineering so this is some en renewable energy energy experience with Orsted okay so you're going to learn about green energy solutions and sustainability this is vital for stem related applications okay in stem related applications so anything to do with like science technology engineering and maths you need to mention sustainability sustainability is one of the biggest things in the industry right now Every, everyone's trying to go oh we're net zero we've got electric cars renewable energy all this sort of thing Basically, when they go through applications, they're looking to tick off the word sustainability. So somewhere you need to have in your CV some sort of experience with sustainability. That's why in these tags on the left here, I've included sustainability as one of these tags. Just because it's like if you are applying to STEM, I would definitely recommend do at least one of these work experience which has sustainability in it. Just so you can get that ticked off. Okay. And on top of that, um, there's also a module on management, which is going to be useful for those who are looking to apply to like project management, child management positions like that. Okay, moving on to the next one. So this is transforming travel and it's work experience with Transport for Wales. Transport for Wales is a train company, um, but it's not, it, it might not be related necessarily because it's a train company, right? And what's that got to do with anything? Well, they actually cover a lot of modules here, so it's going to be useful for engineering because they talk about the engineering of the trains. But there's also modules on data analytics, finance and marketing. So yes, I guess I, I get that it's a train company not directly related probably to what you're interested in, but it does have these modules and data analytics. Data analytics is going to be useful for any technology apprenticeship, any DTS apprenticeship. There's going to be modules on finance, there's modules on marketing. Okay, so that's going to be really good for you there. Then there's also that sustainability thing again to tick off. You can get it off from this one because it's about the future of real sustainable development and green infrastructure. So that's a good one to tick off that sustainability. Okay, now moving on to this one. So this is the building your future work experience. Let me show you the um the what's it called the syllabus for this one right so the syllabus is these modules down here okay you can see there's a bit on designing spaces real estate project management facilities management ai consulting transaction management okay so this is going to be really useful for actually a lot of sectors so project management because there's a sector on that there's a, a what's the word module on that sorry that's going to be relevant to construction and engineering because it's about building stuff and real estate and that sort of thing so that's going to be really useful for that but it's also going to be really useful for anyone applying to technology so like digital and technology solutions some sort of computer science thing the reason for that is this work experience is actually run by meta so if you don't know meta is like meta is facebook basically they just changed their name this is going to be really good to put on your CV. Like for a lot of people who are applying to these technology apprenticeships, sort of imagine you can have on your CV one of these names like Microsoft, Google, Apple, Amazon. Meta is basically the same level as these, right? So it's one of the biggest tech companies in the world. If you have on your CV, you have work experience from Meta, that is going to look so good to the employer. Okay, so that's why this one is really good for technology as well as those other things. Now, there's this direct line virtual work experience. This is going to be really good for anyone interested in marketing because you're actually going to be taking part in a marketing project where you literally have to create an advertisement. That's going to be amazing. You'll be able to put in your CV that you create an advertising and you have to think about the target audience. You have to engage them. It's a really good experience. And also, there's a bit on like data analytics. So that's going to be useful for anyone applying to like DTS apprenticeships and technology apprenticeships and that sort of thing. Right, aerospace work experience with Airbus. This is one of the best work experience placements out there for engineering. Okay, so if I just come back up here, this work experience, my friend, because they, they sort of run this work experience once a year as like a, a cohort, right? So a couple of years ago, my friend did this work experience. He included it in his personal statement to U university, like his UCAS personal statement. And he ended up getting an offer from Imperial College London to do electrical engineering. Okay. So, and that, by the way, Imperial College London is one of the top 10 universities in the world. Like, I think that screenshot there says it's sixth, right? So that's how good this Airbus one is. And um, you're also going to have to do some sort of leadership project, uh, which is going to be really good for developing those leadership skills. So 100%, any type of engineering, even if it's not specifically aerospace, even if you want to apply to JLR or um bentley or some other type of engineering this one is still really useful because those engineering skills and those leadership skills they're transferable to whatever engineering degree apprenticeship you're interested in applying to so definitely recommend that one and it ticks off the sustainability one as well which is good 
Now let's move on to Fujitsu. So they've got two work experiences to talk about. The first one, you're going to do some activities on sustainability and quantum computing. That's really good. Sustainability, as we know, that's important. But then also quantum computing. For a lot of technology degree apprenticeships, I recommend having some sort of experience with either AI or quantum computing because those are the, some of the two biggest sort of innovations that have happened recently. We had chat GPT like one and a half years ago, I want to say. Um, quantum computing is something that's like in, in the news a lot. So if you can like tick off in your application, whether that's your CV or your cover letter, something about quantum computing or AI, that's really good. I'm actually the, this meta one as well that had AI in it as well. Um, so that's really good there. And then there's another one for Fujitsu. This one's more specifically on cybersecurity. So if you're interested in a cybersecurity degree apprenticeship, uh, whether that's GCHQ or something like that, then this is a really good one because you're, again, you're gonna be doing an actual project. It's not just learning about things. You're gonna be doing a project where you need to help a water company defend itself against cyber criminals. And you can explain what you did um, to stop that. Okay, this is a great example to talk about in your application. So there you go. There's a whole list of work experience you can do over the summer. As I said, work experience is the number one reason why I got my degree apprenticeship offers, just because it, it displays so many skills. You get so much knowledge. It shows you're dedicated, all this sort of thing. Work experience is amazing. Um, and I hope in this video, I've managed to just explain which one you should do. So maybe have an idea on which one you want to do. And I just want to end with just an action step okay go and apply for at least one right now okay so click off this video go off youtube okay don't don't start watching more youtube i want you to go and apply for at least one right now you just have to click on these links and just fill in a application form maybe answer a few questions shouldn't take you if you just focus on it any more than 20 30 minutes okay go and apply for one and this could literally be the difference between you getting your dream degree apprenticeship offer and not because you're going to have this work experience on your application it's gonna be really good okay so any questions about this just leave it in the comments below i hope this has helped and yeah just if, if you receive value from this video feel free to subscribe and get more videos like this which are going to help you uh, with work experience and the degree apprenticeship application process yeah see you in a bit hope that helps good luck with your work experience peace out